Now at 5 o'clock, comments have been pouring into WBTV ever since we aired a story about this video game, Portal 2, and a clip that appears to make fun of adopted children. What's wrong with being adopted? But, but, well, um, lack of parents. Well, Neil Staple contacted WBTV's Brigitte Mack after he played the game with his adopted daughter, and Brigitte Mack now joins us live. And I understand the story is drawing some criticism from the yeah. gaming community. A lot of anger from the gaming community, Maureen and Paul. We've gotten a couple of dozen emails about the story, largely from gamers. We felt compared to share their views on the story. We also continue to contact Valve, who made the game, for its response. It's a fantastic game. It's a great game. It's just that one little blurb in there. This is the little blurb from Portal 2 that Neil Staple, an adoptive father, is talking about. All right, fatty, adopted fatty, 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 no parents. Staple was playing the game with his 10-year-old adopted daughter. He says while he was offended by it, he realizes not everyone will be. If you're not an adoptive parent, it's probably not that big a deal to you. And we heard from a lot of people who agree, like Brian Schneider, who said, as an adopted individual and someone that has played both Portal and Portal 2, I find nothing wrong with this game at all. Others criticized us for even doing the story, like the email that I got from one gamer who questioned what we were attempting to accomplish by doing what he called a ridiculous story. In the email, he asked me, what exactly do you expect to change? Another gamer pointed out, this is one line of hundreds in the game that are meant to be taken as funny, not serious. It's a video game, for goodness sake. We continue to try and contact the company who made the game, Valve, not only through email, but also by voicemail. When you finish recording, hang up or press the pound key for more options. Hi, this is Brigitte Mack. I'm a reporter. Regardless, other viewers said if the father's truly upset, maybe he needs to talk to his child. Like this post from a guest on WBTV.com. Maybe this is the perfect opportunity to talk to her about it. I mean, she is 10 years old. She can understand at this age. While Staple agrees, he didn't want the conversation to come about from a video game. But that one question is the one that did not need to come from a video game. It needed to come from her or from us. We also want to clarify one last thing. As we reported yesterday, the game's rating is E10, which means it's appropriate for children 10 and up. But that is not the same as being rated E for everyone. Mm. Mm. Okay. All right, Brigitte, thanks. Being fond of adoption. And tonight, a father is shocked at the insens uh, insensitivity he says he witnessed. Here's the clip. What's wrong with being adopted? But, but, well, um, lack of parents. The game is called Portal 2, and it's only been available for about a month. Regina Mack just uh, talked to the father who shared this, who saw this with his daughter. Yeah, I bet he was shocked and, and really surprised by something like yeah, this. Yeah, no idea, particularly Horrible. because this is a game that builds itself as educational. It's rated E for everyone. As we said, Neil Staple was playing the game with his 10-year-old adopted daughter when they saw the clip tonight. He says he and his wife are still searching for a way to try to explain it. I, I didn't know what to do. I still don't know what to do. Neil Staple still can't believe what he heard while playing the video game Portal 2 with his 10-year-old adopted daughter, Zoe. All right, fatty, adopted fatty, 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 no parents. Did you hear that? The character in the popular kids video game is actually taunted for being adopted. It literally pokes fun for not having parents. While Neil says he and his wife, Marcia, have never hidden the fact Zoe is adopted. She's Chinese. She obviously doesn't look like us. They wanted to wait until she was ready to talk about it. It throws the question, the most ultimate question that that child is ever going to have for you. And it just throws her right in the living room. Shocked at what he'd heard, like Neil immediately cut the game off, <laughs> hoping Zoe hadn't heard the cruel joke from a video game billed as educational and appropriate for everyone 10 and up. And it says rated E for everybody, and I was thinking maybe it's rated E for everybody except for orphans. If you're not an adoptive parent, it's probably not that big a deal to you. If you are an adoptive parent, it was literally the worst thing that I could possibly have heard. But did Zoe hear it? She's sticking to her guns that she didn't hear it, and to me, that message means she's not ready to talk about it, and I'm not going to force it. Now what do I do? Should have put her there.
Until she is, Neil says they steer clear of that part of the game and hope their daughter never feels like she's any less because she's adopted. I can't imagine my life without her. I mean, it, she's just such an awesome child. She's just made our lives so much better. Now, again, we did say this game was educational, and it's because you have to sort of figure out a way to get out of every single room. We did contact Sony, who distributes the game. They told us to contact Valve, the company that actually created the game. I did. We have not heard back from them. Yeah, passing the buck on to somebody else. Certainly <laughs> seems that way. But I do want to add that they still like the game. It's just that one part that he says yeah. is he feels is unacceptable. Yeah, unfriendly. For Can't sure. blame him.